Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Monday night. It is uh, April 24th, 2023, about 10.07 here along the West Coast in the state of California. Latest quake uh, looks like uh, 2.8 on the big island of Hawaii. Also some movement here just off the coast of the California area uh, near the uh, San Luis Obispo area. Obispo area, it looks like, uh, off of the... Uh, what is this? San Simeon Fault? Looks like it's just off of that uh, fault system. A 3.2 coming in within the last hour. A uh, little odd earthquake there. It's been relatively quiet here across California for the most part. Slight uptick though. Looks like uh, taking place right now. Uh, the extreme southern area of the state. Uh, mostly some small microquake activity across the San Jacinto Fault Zone. And just off the Elsinore Fault. A uh, little movement across the Ridgecrest area today as well. But looking at the uh, 2.5 map and above, this most recent earthquake is about the only one. We did have uh, one uh, near the uh, Johnsville area up north into the Sierra Nevada, 2.5 from uh, early this morning, just after midnight. Uh, but aside from that, mostly uh, some small microquake activity taking place here today. Uh, not a whole lot through the Pacific Northwest. And a uh, quick glance here at the Trimmer map tonight. Looks like we're declining here, folks. 293 epicenters of Trimmer. Uh, this Trimmer kicked up back on the 4th of this month. And uh, let's see what we got for a total tally so far. Searching this uh, time frame. Almost 10,000 epicenters of Trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. Since that time, it picked up there on the 4th of this month. So uh, we do get some uh, occasional swarms on it on uh, uh, on these events. This is not earthquake activity, but uh, Trimmer, Trimmer movement downstream into the Cascadia subduction zone. Pretty good amount. But uh, as you could see here on the years the graph up here uh, we were definitely overdue for a uh, a trimmer event of this magnitude but it didn't quite cap out at uh what i was expecting it definitely much uh, lower than the uh, typical um, multitude of trimmers on a large uptick date as we've seen in the past here so we'll continue to watch it, it may kick back up uh, but for now uh, 200 and uh 200 and something there. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Checking out Yellowstone region. Not a whole lot going on here, but uh, let's go ahead and double check, right? Ooh, goodness. What do we got here? I'm glad we double checked. <laughs> I uh, haven't even been looking at Yellowstone all day, I guess. Uh, let's see, is our Yellowstone station offline? There it is, down here. So let's get rid of a couple of these. These are live seismograph stations. I've noticed I've lost a couple and some are intermittently um, shooting out data. But Yellowstone down here in Wyoming, goodness, that is a, that's a pretty crazy looking swarm, I would say. Centered around the center of the Yellowstone caldera. See, you'd, you'd never know, right? That there's an earthquake swarm going on. Looking at the all magnitudes map here from the USGS. Who would have thunk, right? But obviously, I like to go to the raw data and check this out for myself. And sure enough, we have a, a very intense earthquake swarm. So let's look here, see what's going on. This almost looks like one giant blurp of magma movement below or something. This is, you know, something what you would see with magma movement below the surface, uh, making that long duration signal. But... Uh, Looking closer, let's see here. Let's go over to uh, Grant Village. Looking closer, it looks like there's just a bunch of earthquakes here. There's probably some... Uh, There very well could be some uh, mid twos in that uh, swarm of earthquake activities. Kind of hard to tell. Some of these larger events in that shadow of noise uh, is showing up across a good portion of the park. But also at the same time, we uh, seen that seven point uh, 
that seven pointer over into the uh, Indonesia area. It's just been a busy day. So, um, but there's definitely a swarm kicking up here at Yellowstone National Park. Pretty intense one. Looks like it lasted here for, oh, a couple hours uh, at least. Un uncertain on how many there is in that mix. Uh, the, those, uh, the folks that get paid some good money there and the, with the scholarships, or not scholarships, but, uh, uh, you know, they're professional papers on the wall that proves that they're a professional, right? That, that important paper. Um, that's going to be their job to figure this out tomorrow, how many earthquakes there were and whatnot, because it is just, it's even a mess for me uh, to see what's going on here. There's just too many of them ramped up all at once. But uh, continue to watch that. It looks as though it may have died off here in the last couple hours, but that was a pretty good swarm there kicking off there at Yellowstone National Park. And again, showing up across a good area of the uh, of the stations. Crazy looking. All right, so we'll check back on that tomorrow, see if they got any uh, uh, update on it. But for now, supposedly only two earthquakes. All righty, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Texas, Oklahoma area, pretty scattered movement. Uh, we did have some activity up into the um, Canada region, Quebec area, I believe, earlier today. Let me check out Earthquakes Canada and see what's going on here. A lot of times the USGS will show some of that local seismic activity, but it doesn't look like it. Actually, this was centered uh, around the um, Ottawa area, a 3.9 earlier today. 19 kilometers deep. Looks like some movement um, has been taking place up here recently with the activity down into New York. They did have a little bit of uh, swarming over here. A little odd, uh, but there is historical data uh, within this region where they've seen a 4.5 back in the 1800s. I pulled that up. Um, I believe it was last night. It's been a long day. And uh, so there is definitely historical data out there as far as earthquake activity goes. And it looks like that may still be increasing uh, with that movement uh, up into the Ottawa area today. All right, Puerto Rico Trench, not a, or the, uh, yeah, Puerto Rico Trench here, only a couple smaller earthquakes uh, through the last 24 hours. No major swarm going on. Some uh, threes and twos across the Middle America Trench down off the coast of Costa Rica as well. Uh, some general movement across the South America region along the Peru Chile Trench. Nothing big going on. Um, our top players today have been, well, a lot of earthquake activity here around the Java Trench. And we've been watching this pretty closely. We've been chatting about the uh, potential of that westward momentum. And uh, sure enough, it made it, it made its way through this area today uh, with that 7.1 coming in just earlier uh, this afternoon uh, into the Indonesia area. Off the coast of Sumatra, 15 kilometers deep. It looks as though um, a little aftershock here, 4.9. I'm sure there's many other smaller quakes here, but just not showing up on the uh, on the USGS scale. But it's in there, and uh, that's you know that makes it. Uh, how many sevens did we have so far in the last week? Two sevens, uh, one down there in the Kermadec Trench. And then um, a 7.1 in the Indonesia area today. So definitely uh, pretty active over the last week. Uh, and more so just within the last, seems like the last two days. And um, I'm still thinking here, folks, I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure this out here. I really haven't seen a whole lot of westward, uh, northwestward momentum following that seven-pointer. I'm not seeing a whole lot. If anything, I'm still seeing back building of earthquake activity here across the uh, areas around the Banda Sea and uh, back along the Papua New Guinea area. Uh, 7.1, yes, that's a large earthquake, but uh, this area can see some larger ones. Um, historical data shows a um, definitely a, some large earthquake activity taking place here throughout time. And um, we're talking big ones. You know, 7.0 even up to an eight-pointer. But uh, we'll continue to watch this. As um, far as New Zealand goes, uh, we're waiting for some uptake down here. Uh, nothing showing up across the USGS map. 
EMSC models showing a 3.3 from earlier. Uh, so let's go and do a little bit of investigating here across the area of New Zealand GeoNet. Looks like they're online. There's that 3.3 about six hours ago, South Island. Since then, uh, it looks like we've seen another 2.6. They're outside the Wellington, North Island, New Zealand area uh, over the last couple hours, though. Mostly some twos. Uh, there's a 4.7 way up along the Kermadec Trench. Uh, if you remember, we did have a little bit of activity across the Taupo Super Volcano. So let's go ahead and check that out and see if we got anything of interest to chat about. Still, eh. Here's some of the activity from last night. A uh, little spotty here over the last 12 hours. Only looks like a handful of smaller quakes there. So uh, no major swarm kicking off. Nothing nothing big. Um, Yellowstone looks a lot more active than that, I would say. Uh, but still, a slight uptick there across the uh, Taupo Super Volcano. Uh, along the Big Island of Hawaii, things ramping up out here around the Kilauea Volcano and also up here around Mauna Loa. Uh, not for sure what's going on, but we got some... Uh, Activity down below the surface, some of it deep into the uh, area of the Mauna Loa region. I think we're looking at a recharge of the whole system here. Let's see what we got uh, for uh, the hazard notification system here from the USGS, the HVO folks. Kilauea daily update put out today, obviously. Kilauea volcano is not erupting. No active lava. Yes, we get it since March. Um, it doesn't look like there's any major mention here of the tilt meters. Just chatting about uh, flat activity in the tilt meter over the last 24 hours. Small earthquakes occurring uh, occasionally there beneath the crater. No unusual activity across any of the rift zones for now. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything uh, drastic going on there across the area. Let me go back here to the volcano hazards map. I just want to check out um, potentially the tilt meters in this area. If they're working, yes they are. There we go. Took a little while to load, but hey, better late than never. So some of these tilt meters don't work. I don't know why. I'm just for some reason they won't pull up any data. I know one of these do, and that's the one that we're uh, trying to find. I just don't remember which one it was that uh, allowed us to access some of the data. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. I know there's a couple. There we go. So tilt meter past two days. Looks like this is. Uh, So definitely seen a, a pretty good uptick here in the uh, tilt meter. Recent. This here goes back a few more days. Uh, we've definitely been on an uptick, uptrend tilt here uh, since a little earthquake swarm began around Kilauea Volcano. It looks like on the 10th of this month. So inflationary uh, measure is definitely getting up there. Uh, again, with uh, the earthquake activity around Mauna Loa, too. Underground, deep movement here. Uh, I think we're looking at a recharging of the system, folks. So we'll see how this plays out. Either way, elevated earthquake activity at some, uh, you know, some deeper levels. Very typical to see 30-kilometer deep earthquakes here around Pahala. It's an ongoing swarm that's been ongoing for quite a while. Uh, but here... Below the Mauna Loa area, you got 8 kilometers, 40 kilometers, 37 kilometers. Uh, something is definitely um, on the move down there. All right, into the Alaska area. A little bit of swarming outside of the uh, uh, Mount Martin area, it looks like. Nothing major going on. A couple small earthquakes there across the uh, mountain ranges and those uh, volcanoes. Kuril Kamachaka Trench, awfully quiet for now. Uh, let's see, let's go back over here to the EMSC model and see what we have. 
Uh, here's a pretty... We got 3.1, 10 kilometers deep from earlier today. Over around the... Um, looks like South Korea area. Turkey area and the Mediterranean all looks uh, fairly quiet for the most part. Uh, a couple smaller microquakes across the area, which is typical, but uh, looks like it's tapering off here for now. Atlantic Ocean uh, had that little movement, remember, down here in the South Sandwich Trench last night. Um, and then we had this one following that. This one should be dropping off here soon at 4.8 out into the Atlantic area. Uh, a couple divergent boundaries, the oceanic faults. That uh, aside from that, it's very quiet out here in the Atlantic. So we'll continue to watch this, see how that Yellowstone swarm uh, plays out. Again, I'm not seeing too much unusual activity out here along the west coast right now. Uh, no major swarms around the San Andreas Fault. Uh, just this one little earthquake here, 3.2. Sometimes they pop up out here in the, this is still underneath automatic status, but it looks as though, um, looks like a few folks did report filling that out there. Some light shaking along the uh, coastline there of California. All right, uh, let's move on to space weather activity here real quick, and then we'll jump off. Uh, much calmer, <laughs> much calmer than what we've seen here uh, with the auroras. A couple... Uh, was it a, has it been a couple nights or was it last night? Goodness, I don't know. It's been a it's been a long stressful day here. So, uh, um, yeah, I think it was last night. Yeah, oh, goodness, <laughs> losing track of time. Either way, um, much calmer conditions. We do have the coronal hole ninety six right here, earth earth facing, earth directed, lined up somewhat there with the earth plane or the earth sun plane here. And uh, I'm not really seeing any mention of that. Oops, let's go back here. Yet, uh, from any of the space weather folks here. Uh, but I think with that type of setup, there should be some high-speed solar wind stream flowing from that hole. Uh, and that may affect the three-day geomagnetic forecast here um, in the coming days. Not a whole lot of... Uh, Flaring potential. It looks like there is a new regional sunspot here making itself known. Uh, it's growing and it's also getting fairly complex. Uh, but aside from that, that is about it, folks. There's not a whole lot of uh, unstable sunspots out here. It's very minimal. But we'll watch this one here as it's uh, shown a little bit of growth here as we uh, look at that uh, magnetic image. Alrighty, folks. I um, hope everyone has a good night. Um, stay safe out there, and I'm, I'm going to get some sleep. Need a little sleep between uh, all the events of today. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back here sometime tomorrow. Don't forget to sub subscribe. What do we got here? 4.3 coming in. That's a deep earthquake. You guys see that? Um... Looks like it just popped up there on the map. Kermadec Trench area. Let's see here. That is 339 kilometers deep. Just coming in. It looks like at 1010 p.m. But for whatever reason, the Earthquake 3D program shown that it was uh, uh, just now. So a little weird. All right. I'll jump off here. And uh, have, have a good night, everyone. Stay safe. Sleep well. And uh, we'll see you guys back here sometime tomorrow.